Governor, are you here? Yes. Okay. Thank. I know. I just wanted to to give up, uh, uh, give an update on uh, the health dashboard. I know you've been uh, tracking. Um, uh, I know we uh, just issued the the press release, but. Um, we've had uh, three reported deaths uh, here in the islands. Um, actually, one is a resident who passed away in Arizona um, and um, two others here in the state. Um, we continue to have amongst the lowest fatality rate, but you know every um, fatality is a tragedy. So just wanted to provide our condolences to the families impacted directly uh, this is uh, kind of what the, the current uh, COVID-19 dashboard uh, looks like. I know you've been uh, looking at this for a while. I think the one uh, significant change uh, deals with um, the prevalence measure, and we've uh, moved this up to yellow. I think uh, all of you have seen uh, the increase uh, in the cases that um, has I think uh, the concern is two things. One is definitely there's an upward trend. Um, this past week, we had set two new records for uh, the highest level of case activities. Um, uh, on those days, uh, 41 and then 42 over the weekend. Uh, so we did uh, change the prevalence um, box to yellow um, just because of that. Uh, in most of the other areas, you know, we are in a, in a good place uh, for the hospitals. Um, healthcare supply, uh, we continue to, to be at 50% uh, of um, uh, acute care beds as well as ICU units. Uh, we currently have just three uh, COVID patients in ICUs uh, statewide and you know, our healthcare um, providers and the healthcare system has done a terrific job in uh, treating those who uh, have been infected with COVID. And so we don't see uh, the prevalence of uh, cases actually needing hospitalization or um, needing to be in a uh, ICU unit um, statewide. Uh, so that really uh, does help us look at um, other uh, concerns that we might have. Uh, contact tracing, you know, we are at, and even with the increase in the number of cases as the median um, has gone up, uh, we are still well below uh, any level of concern. Uh, thank the committee for the help in uh, signing up a new uh, contact tracers. We have been working with the university and have uh, training programs in process as we speak. We've uh, completed training of more than uh, 300 uh, and are on track to have another uh, 900 for a total of about 1,400 uh, contact tracers that we hope to have in place um, by the end of this month. Um, you know, we're at about 8%, just, uh, just under 9% of the contact tracing capacity there's 311 active cases um, that we are uh, monitoring and in contact with. Um, I know that there has been some confusion in the media reports, but I wanted to assure everyone that once we get a positive COVID case, we uh, do uh, make contact with the individual within 24 hours. Uh, and then we, uh, our, our goal is to then um, identify any close contacts and then get in touch with them uh, within uh, 24 hours. And we are uh, able to do that um, without any challenges at this point. And Hawaii continues to be the only state that actively has been contact tracing uh, throughout the entire pandemic. Um, and, and finally, in, in the health board, we talk about the uh, testing capacity. Uh, this is one area that, um, that Although we're still um, in very good position, we're at about 33% uh, of the testing capacity, uh, typically on any given day. Uh, we've been um, averaging between 1,300 and 1,600 uh, tests per day. Um, and you know we can test more than 5,000 samples um, uh, per day here in the state of Hawaii. 
Uh, we did get a uh, concern raised, uh, as you may have read in the paper or heard, uh, the supply chain was broken with one of the labs uh, and we were unable to get reagents um, and therefore had to send a number of samples to the mainland for testing. You know, this is really problematic and we are definitely uh, watching this um, diagnostic testing um, issue uh, because if we cannot test locally, then uh, you know it takes five to a week to uh, you know during the height of um, the pandemic, it took uh, longer than ten days to get test results back, and that really does not work for uh, us being able to um, respond to and uh, contain the virus once we identify those who are uh, infected. Uh, just really um, just seeing, and we've all seen the increases in the number of cases, uh, just re really wanted to remind everyone that uh, COVID-19 is not going away, that this is a marathon and not a sprint. Um, I, we, I think, have to reemphasize the physical distancing, you know, people staying at home when they're sick, um, keeping their children home when they're sick. Uh, because we do see um, the, the cases that we've gotten uh, are spreading clusters within household, with, within businesses, uh, within activities in our community uh, have led to <clears throat> the increase in the number of cases. Um, you know, everyone needs to take personal responsibility and think about whether they uh, want to go to events or activities um, that uh, may uh, help to spread the virus in our community. And we all need to remain vigilant so that we can move forward uh, with uh, bringing back trans-Pacific travelers and, um, and not having um, what we've seen happen in, in California, Arizona, Texas, and Florida. Um, because clearly at one point in time, uh, things were under control. Uh, and now uh, the virus is really uh, uncontrolled in California, Arizona, Texas, and Florida. Uh, so I think that's, uh, I'll stop there, Scott, and take any questions that people might have. Okay. Are there any questions? Wendy, did you have a question? Uh, yeah. Hi, Governor. It's Wendy Laros here with the Kona Koala Chamber. And yes, um, are, are we anticipating that there's going to be an announcement about travel? Yeah, certainly we hope to make an announcement uh, later on today. If, uh, I am meeting with the mayors again uh, this morning. We'll be going through uh, looking at the information and data that we've had had. Um, you know, I guess uh, we certainly want to be focused on what makes the best sense for our community. Uh, we have seen this trend the last three weeks of increasing cases, uh, and especially this week with uh, the new record set for uh, the number of um, um, case counts in a, in a given day uh, has given all of us um, pause to really uh, re-examine what's happening and uh, just make sure that our healthcare system doesn't get overwhelmed. Uh, you know, and then the, the, the break in the supply chain for testing reagents, really, uh, we do know that if we can't conduct the test here locally, it really does create a, a, a very, very difficult situation where uh, we're not able to um, um, identify who may have been exposed and I think more importantly, help them get tested and um, you know just make certain whether they are or are not carrying the virus. Our, our actual visitors are travelers that are communicating with the companies that they're coming to either do tours with or to stay with are saying that they're having a hard time on the mainland finding a COVID test that will get results back in 72 hours. Do you have any, any information about that? You know, certainly we are working and I appreciate, I know that there are many uh, private partners helping. Uh, we have reached out to all of the major um, testing uh, organizations to, to ask and ask them to participate. Um, as, as, you, as we are all aware, you know, the sub, supply chain for the testing reagents and, and uh, testing supplies is global. And 
Uh, unfortunately, as the cases has surged in California, Arizona, um, Texas, and and Florida, um, a lot of that has been diverted. You know, as you know, uh, two weeks or three weeks ago, California said anyone could uh, get tested who wanted to be tested, uh, and clearly that has changed. So, uh, you know, the whole status on testing and the criteria that uh, different uh, states will be using to allow testing. I think we we know that will be changing all the time. Uh, and so we're working our best to get uh, the broadest, most in-depth um, network of uh, testing locations that we can. Uh, and we do know that um, the availability of tests will be changing and will be affected uh, by the level of virus activity uh, across the country.